I'm not a gambler, but I made a bet. I bet a thousand burpees on a game of pickleball. We'll see how this goes. We're playing best of three and it's a thousand burpees in one sitting. So I did the math and I was thinking that's gonna be like an hour and 40 minutes of burpees straight. That's if, that's if you win. That's if I win. If Jojo wins, how long is it gonna take him? Jojo's break? my cousin. If, if, he, if he wins or if I win and he has to do the burpees, it's gonna take him like three hours. <laughs> I'm willing to do really anything to not do a thousand burpees, so. Yeah, watching her do a thousand burpees be a little time consuming, but it'll be worth it. Oh, yeah. let's break out. Come on, come on, let's break out. Break out. Let's go. Break out. We butter, we butter. It's time. Let's go. You got to score at some point, right? Got me feeling so free now. This is exactly what I need. You knock it down the door. Turn up a little more. Hey, what you waiting for? Break out, break out. Oh, we on the map. I can see you now with a party. Yeah. One four. The ones just letting through the back. We the misfits. How you gonna react? We insomniacs. We ain't get no sleep. Break the rules. Can't stay on beat. Making moves. Running through the streets. A to Z. Follow my lead. Saint the status quo. This is rock and roll. This is how I got yelling out. Ron Moe. This is bye bye, Tata. Sure had that one on camera, Pat. It's gonna make you run. You missed a good one. Here, a thousand burpees. I'm grateful. Once I decided to uh, dedicate that game to Brooke Wells and Sarah Sigmund's daughter, I, I knew what I was doing out here. Came to play. Happy, happy with the result. What about little post post game analysis? Um, the game is currently under protest right now because if you'll take a look at the balls over there. See that? One bounces way higher. So it's our ball versus JoJo's ball. Yeah. For the folks tuning in at home. He beat me in both though. I beat her with both. <laughs> I have a thousand cookies. First, I just want to say I'm a woman of my word. I bet my cousin a thousand burpees on who would win the pickleball game and we shook on it and I did my 1,000 burpees. I honestly, I'm not so sure if Jojo would have done his 1,000 burpees with the reaction he gave me that I actually did mine. After the games, we really have gotten into this whole pickleball thing. I'd seen people playing outside of the gym for the last couple years, but being in season, I was always worried that I was going to twist my ankle, tweak my knee, do something stupid that was gonna hinder my training. So I really stayed away from it. But why we do CrossFit is so we can do other things outside of the gym. So pickleball for me is regularly learning and playing a new sport. It's teaching me to move laterally as well as forward and backward quickly. And it's also a ton of fun and something that we can do with the community. Now that it's after the games and we're in off season, I'm getting to enjoy practicing these new sports, doing new things, challenging myself in different ways and that's really where this pickleball came in. Pat and I will go play for hours and come back completely drenched like we just got one of the best gym sessions but it's just different and it's fun to challenge your body to move in different ways. I think that's also why I accepted the bet with Jojo. When he said a thousand burpees I looked at him and I just had to think about it for a second. I had to think about what was the most burpees that I've ever done in one time and I think it was four or five hundred and I remember that being challenging but it's like oh it wasn't that bad like I could definitely do a thousand burpees and then as we got into it I'll share a couple of my thoughts and feelings with you as we were doing it but that's why I took the bet is that is something I would never do in season because I'd be so worried how's it gonna affect me the next day am I gonna be able to train is it gonna hinder my training am I gonna be so sore that I can't move that I can't snatch if I need to snatch being able to accept that and challenge myself in a new way was really cool. I can honestly say those 1,000 burpees were just a little bit more mentally and physically challenging than I thought they were gonna be, but it was really nice to have Patrick doing them with me. After the games, we do have the opportunity to kind of mix things up. There's just less stress and our training can shift quite a bit. Uh, for me, this past week was quite a bit of a shift from normal kind of day-to-day -day working out for me. And within this week, I did a 1,000 calorie bike, which I do once a year on the assault bike. The next day I did a 1,000 burpees with Christy, and the day after that, I did a 12 mile run. So I've got a little bit of comparison for you and the burpees was by far the least enjoyable of those three challenges. And going into it, I was most nervous about my shoulders being sore. As much as doing your 1,000 burpees, you're also more or less doing 1,000 push-ups as well. 
And in 2012, the first open workout was seven minutes of burpees for time. I think I got 132 burpees on that and it was probably the most sore my shoulders have ever been. This go around, my shoulders were very tired during the thousand burpees, but I actually didn't get sore from that really at all in my shoulders. I think the explosive nature of going really fast for a short, much shorter period of time made me a lot more sore. It's also a lot long time ago, so I just had less volume in general back then. What I was surprised by and I didn't even consider, my hamstrings were lit up. My hamstrings were so sore doing a thousand good mornings. So you're bending over on the way down, then you're squeezing your butt to stand and jump at the top. So I wasn't expecting that. I was grateful that my shoulders weren't sore, but that was a uh, unforeseen byproduct of doing that many burpees. Out of those three things, the thousand calorie assault bike, the thousand burpees and the 12 mile run, with the 1,000 cal bike, you can play some games, and even when you're taking kind of some active recovery, personally I did 10 calories on, kind of working at a manageable level, then five calories a little bit easier. Take my hands off, kind of coast for five, and just repeated that for 66 rounds and 1,000 calories. But even when you're taking that active rest, you're at least still making progress. The 1,000 burpees was much harder to do that. I thought I could treat it more like a light jog and just steadily move at a slow pace and just kind of maybe not take many breaks and just move through the thousand but shoulder fatigue kept that from happening so I broke them into 50s and ended up breaking them into 25s and it was a little bit more manageable to actually do kind of a short burst i do like 15 a little bit quicker and then 10 at kind of a slower pace but when you take a break from doing the burpees you're not getting any progress and you're just standing there thinking i've got 600 burpees left or 400 burpees left and they go so slow that it is a daunting amount of time it was probably the least fun i think christy took it took her an hour and 24 minutes and it took me an hour and 37 minutes somewhere in there give or take maybe a few seconds you know, outside your comfort zone and trying some new things even if it's not maybe a sustainable style of training or even things that we recommend doing trying something new pushing yourself outside of your boundaries can be enjoyable it can give you a new challenge and like the 5k challenge when you know that there's other people doing it maybe it a little bit easier to stay motivated and stay consistent with maybe something that you wouldn't have done outside of that. Doing the 1000 burpees was really interesting. So Jojo was asking me like, tell me, what are your thoughts and feelings? And so I want to share with you guys. So I got into them and I was like, oh yeah, I got this. We got our mat down. I had my plan. My plan quickly went out the window. My plan was to watch the minute and do a certain amount every single minute. And I was like, wow, I can't do this. This is going to just destroy me mentally. It's way too much thinking. So just going off of how I feel. So I had 50 increments listed on my whiteboard and every 50, I would mark one of those off, but those 50 quickly turned into 25s and I would do some stepping, some jumping and just trying to get through those 25s. Then I'd take a quick breather. Either. When I got to 250, I was kind of peeking over Patrick, like, is he showing any signs of weakness right now? Because I'm, in my head, I was like, this is a bad idea. Like, I'm gonna get rhabdo, I don't know, I'm tired, and I'm only at 250, that's only a quarter of the way done, like, this is not a good idea. And then I kind of quickly checked myself and was like, no, you could definitely do this, it doesn't matter how long it takes you, you just have to keep moving. So then I got up to about 400, and then I kind of caught a second wind, pushing all the way through 700. When I hit 700, I was like, oh man, because I remember that first 250 when I got there what it felt like and that's about what I had left but it's just overcoming those obstacles and knowing that your body is capable of more than you think it is and this is why I love fitness so much and this is why I'm taking on these challenges is it's just fun to try to push yourself in ways that you didn't think was possible or just wow I did that and that's a really good feeling after. Maybe I'm a little bit sore the next couple days, which was different soreness than I thought. It actually, I thought it was gonna be my triceps and my chest. I didn't even think I was gonna be able to lift my arms overhead, but that was not it at all. I actually went and did burpees the next day, Saturday morning at 7 a.m. in the class. What it was, was actually my hamstrings. And Patrick was showing me, he's like, Christy, you literally, we did a thousand good mornings just by pushing the hips back to hinge down to get to the ground for those burpees. So hamstrings are recovering. They were just the most sore they've ever been because that's not a spot that I usually get super sore. So it did feel really nice, but I think I'll do it again and maybe try to beat my time, have a better plan and stick to it and we'll see how it goes. In the end, what I realized is it's so motivating to do challenges, but not do them alone, to do them with other people and to do them with a community. And we know we have so many of you doing our 5K challenge, which we are loving and we are doing it too. And we hope that you guys, even on the tough days, even on the days where you're like, gosh, this seems impossible, that you can keep going and you can keep moving. And when you finish this 30 days with us, you are gonna feel like you are on top of the world. So keep it up, keep working hard. We love that you're doing this. Don't forget, tag us. We wanna see how you're doing. And if you liked the video, smash the like button. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.
Stop.